Just like in your literal classroom, in the digital classroom you also need to think about how you manage students. Once you have students in your classroom, you can apply actions to individual students or to all students. To an individual student, you just click the student you want. If it's to all students, then you click this button here and that will select all the students in your class. The actions you have here are to email them, to remove them or to mute them. So for example, you could mute people who maybe aren't using the chat features in Google Classroom appropriately. Other ways of managing students is by going to the settings icon. If we click here and go to the settings option. Under general and under stream, it says by default, students can post and comment on the stream. So what this means is that students can create their own posts as well as commenting on yours and other student posts. If you click on the little down arrow, you get a couple of other options, which are students can only comment or only teachers can post or comment. So you need to think about what you're actually wanting the students to do in the Google Classroom and obviously curbing some of those options if you don't want them to use them.